the title is calming your mind to, to make your mind calm and of course you know this is through meditation yeah so you come here to learn meditation isn't it yeah you come here to learn meditation just your hand okay now second question why Why you want to learn meditation? The reason why I'm here is to uh, tame my crazy mind. This mind is, has so much commentary. Okay. I want to meditate because I want to know why we meditate. To know why we meditate. Good question. <laughs> Even I don't know. I think you all come here to learn meditation to you say there's a lot of crazy monkey mind and or problem with the job so much stress mind is not in peace or you develop some kind of like a uh, spiritual development for <clears throat> for you and to help others so I that's the uh, goal, or that's the your aim, or your, why you come here, why you learn meditation. Yeah. And the next one is okay. Then how to how to practice meditation, and by practicing meditation to make your mind calm, peaceful and um, I liberate from crazy monkey mind and uh, stress and uh, develop clarity, love and compassion. How? And that is through awareness. Essence of meditation is awareness. You cannot say you are you are in meditation because there's no thought. Or you have thought, this is why you are, you are not in meditation. So you cannot make differentiate by thought, emotion, then I don't, I don't have meditation. Without thought and emotion, now I'm in meditation. But what is the, the essence of meditation is awareness. And do you know awareness? How many of you think you have awareness? Raise your hand. Okay. And how many of you think you don't have awareness? That's why you come here to learn awareness. I don't have awareness, so I need awareness, so I come here to learn awareness. That's good. That means you all have awareness. That prove that you all have awareness. How? <coughs> Those people who say, I have awareness, of course you have awareness, yeah? <coughs> so you, you're aware of, you're aware that you have awareness. This so is you, you're raising hand. And those people who say, I don't have awareness, that means you have awareness. Because you're aware that I don't have awareness. So without awareness, you cannot raise your hand. This is why I think we all have, we all have awareness. <clears throat> this is why in Buddhism meditation here, the Buddhism meditation is not like we are teaching you something completely different which is you don't have at all before and come to here to join the class and you have you will immediately transform and you totally become a different person than before so not like that and it is like you are recognizing who you are what we call gum 
Meditation means gom. In Tibetan, what we call gom. Gom means meditation. So the meaning of gom is getting familiar with. You are getting familiar with, with your mind, yourself. So we all have a lot of good things. So as I introduce you, we all have awareness, yeah? So we all have awareness. Not only that, we all have love and compassion. We all have wisdom. We all have clarity. We all have capability, power, many things. Sometimes some scientists said if you have 10 qualities within you, nine of them is positive and one of them is a negative, then what do you see? It's only what? Negative. negative. So you see only negative. You don't see nine good things within you. Yeah? So you only see one bad thing within you and exaggerate. Not just seeing bad things. <laughs> <laughs> Exaggerate, you know. So make it like 100%. <laughs> and sometimes I give example about that. Maybe I will give you an example. How we exaggerate the problem. How, our, how, how the monkey mind exaggerating problem. As I mentioned before about monkey mind, yeah? Blah, 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 yada, 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 like this. Always talking, talking, talking. Monkey mind sometimes is a two, three, having discussion. And some monkey mind say, pizza is good. And another monkey mind say, oh, I don't like pizza. And another monkey says, oh, pizza is good, you know, I like pizza. And the third monkey mind judging. See, pizza is good or not good. You know, making some kind of like, how to say it. Uh, comment. Even you, you go outside after you finish this talk, you walk, you're alone. But looks, you think like you're alone, but actually you're not alone. <laughs> Many of them having conversation inside your head. That's what I call monkey mind. So there's a verbal image and physical sensation. Feeling, emotion, all these are monkey mind. And monkey mind normally is very, very busy. It's very active. Love, job. Active, active, active. No. If you don't have job, that means normally monkey mind makes problem. The job is like problem. So if you don't have big problem, then monkey mind thinks I'm become jobless. So I should make one, otherwise soon I'm become homeless. So I don't want to become homeless. I should make problem. And then looking for problems, you know. Mm -hmm. If you don't have big problem in your life, the monkey mind try to make small problem as a big problem. Then after that, the monkey mind was very monkey mind will be very happy. But if you have big problem in your life, then small problem is small problem for you, not big problem. <laughs> but if you don't have big problem, then small problem is big problem for you. Because monkey mind making big problem. One time I have one friend and she always complain about her life. You know, she's saying, Oh my life is terrible, miserable. There's no meaning. Life has no meaning. What is the meaning of life? Actually, she has a very good job, good family. Health is, her health is good. Looks like fantastic. Her life is good. But she always complain. And unfortunately, one day, she got accident. You know, accident? Crash. And lost, the broke her leg. And she had to go to hospital and stay there and they put cask, cask. And she had to wear this cask for six months. And after six months later, she totally recovered. 
she's become same as before. Then she came to me and she said, she said, life is wonderful. <laughs> Why? Because, because her broke leg, she broke, she broke her leg. The monkey mind concentrated with the leg. Because the monkey mind happy, got very nice job. <laughs> and making job, oh, this problem, oh, no good, oh, you know, blah, 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 yada, yada. And they let go of the similar problem. <clears throat> That's why then, the only problem in her life is broken leg. But good news is, after six months later, totally recover. You know, the leg become very good. Then monkey mind have little holiday. <laughs> break. And during break time, she come to me. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Important is, if you know how your mind making problem, then that is what we call wisdom. Wisdom. That's the, that's the gateway of the liberation. Freedom, liberation, is the is is through through wisdom and wisdom which is you know how your mind working what is the experience of your mind what is the perception of your mind and how your mind functioning how your mind making problem solution whatever that's the wisdom okay now i will tell you another one is if you don't have big problem how your monkey mind making similar problem as a big problem? Okay? And for that, you have option. You have to choose. <laughs> option one with the face, one with the belly. So you, you want to use belly as example or face as example. Face, raise your hand. Belly, raise your hand. Or oh, more, more belly here. <laughs> so now, belly win. Okay. If you don't have big problem in your life, your life put it okay, and monkey mind begin to search job. Looking for job. Now, where is problem? Oh, how about my belly? I'm okay or no? See. Look at the mirror. <laughs> there, there's some kind of like, you know, TV screen, you know, on the side. They see me, my belly. <laughs> then you might think, oh dear. My belly is put a big. <laughs> this is bad news. You know. <laughs> what should I do? And then, monkey mind. <laughs> that time is the monkey mind having an interview. <laughs> Job interview. <laughs> and soon will accept. If you don't have awareness, if you don't have wisdom, then it will accept. And then, like science said, I'm also sometimes um, a lot of discussion with the scientists, you know, neuroscientists. What they said is, in your brain, there's a lot of neurons, what I call gossipy neurons. They love gossip. Blah, 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 yada, 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 you know. And then some of neurons communicate each other. Hey, your, bo your belly is big. <laughs> and then other neurons say, yes, your belly is big. Big belly, big belly, big belly, big belly. <laughs> and then they make group, you know, <laughs> kind of like political group. <laughs> and they're all talking about big belly. <laughs> big belly, big belly, big belly. How ugly you are. Oh, your belly is big, you know, yeah. Your failure, you know. And as this group becomes bigger and bigger, then for you, look like 
you are become more and more uglier. That's why next week when you look at the mirror, you are you are much become uglier than last week. <laughs> Actually, you are same. Maybe you are you are become better than last week. You know, maybe you do a little exercise. You know, maybe eating less. <laughs> <laughs> but then when you look at the mirror again next year no no next month you are much much uglier than last month and then after a few months later you feel very very bad about yourself you feel you are very ugly and at the same time if you think oh big belly if you, if you can do more exercise, more diet is good. But you cannot do that also. You just suffer that I'm ugly. But at the same time, you don't have courage. You don't have some kind of like, um, how to say, uh, confident to do, to can change, can change yourself. You're almost trapped, trapped there. <clears throat> and maybe, you have 5% is problem, but 90, 95% is exa you exaggerated. It's not real. Monkey mind exaggerated. And you cannot walk in front of other people, you know. You think, she's looking at my big belly, you know. <laughs> He's looking at my big belly, you know. Now everybody looking at my big belly, you know. And sometimes you research, I think not everybody looking at my big belly, you know, I think this is not true. And you, you research, research, you know. And the result of research say, yes, everybody looking at your big belly. <laughs> so you got wrong result. Then your perception become so stable, solid, become like rock. <laughs> and then almost become like circle. You behave as like you're ugly and loser, something like that. It's become circle. Okay, then how, how to broke this? How to liberate? How to liberate that? And important, first important is to see this, to realize this. That's why one one of the meaning of meditation, getting familiar with your mind, is so you have to get familiar with your mind. How my mind does work. See your mind making problem, yeah? yeah. So if you see this, this is the wisdom. And uh, <clears throat> um, I will tell you one story. One time I was in New York and there's one old lady came to me and she said, uh, my face has, my face, my face has full of wrinkles. So I don't like wrinkles. So when, whenever, when I, whenever I look at the mirror, I see the wrinkles. And I'm very unhappy, upset, and I broke the mirror. Broke the mirror. And next day, she had to buy another mirror. <laughs> and look at the mirror. What loss is? Mirror. La yesterday, mirror is lost. But the wrinkles are not lost. <laughs> Still there. And I'm very upset. I cry. So she said, my wrinkles drive me crazy. What should I do? And I tell her, this is natural, this is natural. And try to accept, you know. Don't, don't be fight with that. Beautiful, not beautiful, is how you look at it. And I tell her, I'm thinking that my, grand, my grandmother was beautiful, you know. She has full of wrinkles, but she smiles, you know. You know, 
very cute. I like my grandmother, you know. And I think my grandmother was very beautiful. And I tell her to accept. In our life, so many things can happen. When we, were, when we were young, if you only concern about become adult, I'm too young, I want to become adult. Then you cannot enjoy the moment of being young. And you cannot see the situation, you cannot see quality, um, enjoyment of the being young. Teenager or whatever. But when you, when you become adult, you're only concerned to become teenager. <laughs> <laughs> I miss my teenager, you know. Then, also you cannot enjoy the, the moment of adult life. There's many things you can do, which is you cannot do when you're young, when you're a teenager. You can do something when you're a teenager, you cannot do when you become adult. But when you become old, you have different life enjoyment. New experience, new um, mentality, different things, which is you cannot do when you are adult, when you are young. So you cannot see these possibilities. You know. I told her something like that, and she said, well, okay. <laughs> and I haven't met her for one year. Interview time's up, only five minutes. Next year, I was there, and she came to me. She said, thank you very much. Your advice helped me a lot. Now I'm not breaking <laughs> mirrors anymore. And she said, in fact, she was pretty happy about what she is. And she, say, she, she told me that, I'm, I'm trying to think that my wrinkles are um, exp um, Sign of experience. You know, something like that. I said, oh, that's very good. Let's finish story. <laughs> this is why I think this is very important to, to see how creating, how our mind creating uh, perception, misperception. And um, <clears throat> I will tell you another story. And this is a recent, recent story. This year. I think this year. Okay, anyway, one time I was, I was in USA and I was uh, going through custom, you know custom? US custom. You know, I have to open all the bags and take out shoes, you know, and clothes, you know everything and they put me inside the like like how to say like box you know and the the machine that somebody check everything you know then i'm looking for my gate number it will go down and there's my gate i sit there but there's another security check also so many security check you know in front of me there's another security check i use my chair and sit there you know and then in the security check in front of me, facing, you know, there's one very top guy, you know, big, you know, little bit fat, looking at me. <laughs> police, is a police, you know. The security guy, security, security, security guy. <laughs> looking at me again, again. I thought, why, you know. <laughs> Why he's looking at me, you know? And again, you know. And then he's talking with his friend and pointing out to me, you know. <laughs> I thought, oh, now I'm in trouble. <laughs> and I'm thinking that, did I do something wrong? No, I didn't do anything wrong. There's something in my bag? No, nothing in my bag. <laughs> And I'm thinking many things, and I look at him, you know. Then for me, he's like a monster. <laughs> you know, top like mafia, you know. And looking at me very badly, you know. And then after talking with the friends, everything, and this guy, you know, come to me, walking 
walking forward to me. Oh, now I thought, now really big problem. <laughs> and I'm perceiving this guy is like really like mafia, you know, gang or mafia. You know. And he come to me and smile. Are you Ramboche? Uh, excuse me, you know. Say, so, uh, are you Mr. Rampochi? Uh, I don't answer. What is Rampochi? <laughs> and he said, uh, are you Mr. Yonggi? I said, yes, yes. Thank you very much for your book. <laughs> I read your book. He said, you know, that really helped me, you know, from your book. So I, you know, from far away, I thought, is it you or not? You know, I'm looking at you. Then I really want to come to you and see you and say thank you. But then I have to replace my job. So I have to call my friend and ask him to, you know, took over my job and I want to come to you, you know. And he says such wonderful things, you know. And then my perception of him changed. <laughs> Oh, this is a good person, you know. <laughs> good guy, oh, you know. And I said, oh, welcome, welcome, you know, it's good, you know. And then he went back, and he's doing job. And when I look at him, very good guy. <laughs> My perception totally changed, you know, within 10 minutes. So how our <laughs> mind-making uh, misperception. So these things is to understand. So what do we call this a uh, wisdom? <clears throat> so I just finished now. So normally for the meditation we need two things. Wisdom and experience. The wisdom is to know the nature of um, yourself and the, the essence of your mind, the function of your mind, how, how it is working, those things, is the wisdom. So now this finish. And the second is uh, experience, yeah? So these two, the wisdom and experience are like two wings of bird. If the bird has two wings, then you can fly. Dalai Lama behind me. <laughs> Good. That's two wings. So if, if you don't have one wing, even you try to fly, you know, the bird, jump with the one wing, you know, become a circle, you know. You cannot really fly very well. <laughs> it's like, even though you have this wisdom, you understand all those things and you know how your mind making problem, actually there's no problem and you are good, you have wisdom, you have awareness, you have love and compassion, you have clarity, you have capability, you know, you're, even you know all of those things. It helps, it really helps, but it has limitation. And somehow you're stuck there. I am good, I have clarity, serious, I have clarity. <laughs> so you may have another stress, <laughs> stress of wisdom. <laughs> my face, I have wrinkle, I should accept my wrinkle, I should accept my wrinkle. <laughs> so I, it's, it's, it's become a little bit dry and sometimes you cannot help, you know. It's, it's some things which is related with your habit, the hab habitual tendency. So you cannot really transform directly. So for that, what you need? You need uh, experience. Okay, now what is experience here? Awareness meditation. Awareness meditation. 
and how this meditation helps your mind become calm, peaceful, clear to realize your own basic goodness, your own goodness within you, develop clarity, whatever. How? Because by this meditation, awareness meditation, tame your mind, taming, you're giving special training your mind, and you're guiding your mind. You don't have to know so many reasons why and how, but you practicing, doing exercise, practice, like physical exercise. You do physical exercise a lot, it's good for automatically develop immune system, yeah? In your body, and muscles in your body, so similar. This meditation develop mental immune system and mental muscles. Okay, now, Sounds like a good idea, yeah? <laughs> but exactly how? If you want to know more detail, then I will ask you one question. What monkey mind like likes? Huh? I think I told you before. Job. Yeah, monkey man love job, yeah? Monkey man love job. And the job normally making problem. Gossip. So monkey man love job, yeah? So now that's the key point. So if you want to transform the monkey mind, train monkey mind, you cannot train monkey mind forcefully. You have to make friends. So making friends is very important. When I was young, I had panic disorder. I think you know that, yeah? So panic is very strong. Then what I did is, I make friends with my panic. I didn't say, hey, get out, fight. I didn't surrender my panic. Yes, sir, whatever you say, true. Life is terrible, yes, sir. Life is miserable, yes, sir. I didn't say that. So I accept the panic and make friends. So you have to make friends with your monkey mind. How to make friends? Okay, now this is a very secret. So now my, my, my secret, you know, my, my best secret, I will tell you. <clears throat> <coughs> Should I tell you? Yes. Serious? Yes. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Promise? It's in my books. Hmm. No, no, no. Not yet. Not in the books. In, in my third, third book. I'm now writing third book. No, the first two books is not in the first two books, so it's very serious. But it's in the third book, that's why, you know, it's in the book. Now I will tell you my secret. <laughs> How to make friends with the monkey mind? Give job. That's the secret. Finish my secret. <laughs> okay? No? If you can give job to your monkey mind, then you'll become boss. Monkey mind become your employee, and you'll become employer. Normally, monkey mind giving job to us all the time. Problem. Monkey mind is our boss. But now, if you can give job to the monkey mind, then you become boss. This way, you can free your mind. You can liberate. You can free from problem of monkey mind. What is the meaning of free? Even you don't want to be angry, but anger comes, yeah. Even you don't want to be worried, but worry comes. You don't want to upset, but upset. You don't want to think I'm bad, but you think I'm bad. You don't want to have depression, but depression. You don't want to have panic, but panic comes. These are not free. Why a monkey mind giving you a lot of job? But now you can give job to the monkey mind. So if you can give job to the monkey mind, monkey mind also happy. Why? 
monkey man love job so monkey man got the job so monkey man also happy and you are happy this is why win win situation so you become friend now but one important is don't give full time professional job so monkey man not get used to work full time professional job for someone so first you have to give part time job to the monkey mind and the monkey mind says oh yes you know sorry yes and then slowly slowly your mind become calm peaceful pliable workable so sometimes what we call xinjiang xinjiang ba xinjiang ba means xindu means great or supreme extremely great jang means train or pliable or workable yeah okay do you understand everybody so now main important issue is how to give job to monkey mind now i will teach you how to give job to monkey mind hmm maybe i need bell there's two things important first is physical posture so i think how many of you new to meditation here in this room mm -mm. not many people okay first important is first important thing is keep your spine straight and what i say 100% straight and also relax muscles in your body also 100% relax so not 200% straight and relax if you try to relax 200% and become like this relax 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 you know so you are saying relax then you are tied up not like that or if you try to relax 200% 200% another is maybe you may, you may become like this relax <laughs> so not like that 100% relax this is why because of this is 100% relax so you can have tight also okay if you cannot rest also okay so you you are allowed to have not rest if you have automatic tension in your body okay tightness okay muscle pain okay so totally natural leave it as it is okay and next is mind so now i will teach you how to give job to the monkey mind and the job here is today i would like to teach you with sound sound meditation there's two steps how to listen and sound meditation okay now first is how to listen Do you hear that? So now next is when you begin to hear this sound raise your hand and when you cannot hear sound then put your hand down. okay good that means you all can hear sound yeah <clears throat> if so raise your hand 
Fly, fly. Okay. Now finish. Now you know how to listen. So you all pass. You're all very smart, you know. <laughs> You're all genius. Genius. Because you, when I teach, and you get, you got right away. You learn right away. So what I'm teaching is how to listen to sound, and you all know how to listen. Because you hear the sound. Okay, now next is meditation. Sound meditation. The sound meditation is <laughs> another secret. <clears throat> the sound meditation is I know this these are the big secret, so why I'm a little bit nervous to tell you <laughs> my secret. The sound meditation is <laughs> That was sound meditation. <laughs> Finish now. You understand? Whatever you did, how to say? Whatever you did right now, that was sound meditation. How to listen to sound is sound meditation. So I say that was. Was was means you you raise your hand and you say you all hear the sound yeah that's it that was sound meditation so I now what I say buy one get one free so what <laughs> buy one means you are you buy for listen to sound and you get one free which is meditation. So you have both together. So now, meditation is very easy. You just listen to sound, that's all. Ear and the mind together listen to sound. That is meditation. So actually, you are meditating before. Yeah? So whenever you hear the sound, if you listen to that, you are meditating. If you don't listen to sound, then you are not meditating. It's not become sound meditation. But if you are listening to sound, you are meditating with sound. What do you think? <laughs> believe or not? <laughs> do you believe? Oh, maybe, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> oh, this is, sounds too easy, you know. <laughs> but you might have one question. If you don't believe, then you might have one question. Should I tell you your question? <laughs> then why we have to learn meditation? Yeah? If I'm meditating, whenever I listen to sound, if that's become meditation, then why I come here in this room to learn meditation or in this internet, open the computer, whatever, and, you know, <laughs> watching <laughs> to the talk, this guy from, you know, from Tibet, you know, with wearing glass and shaving hair, wearing red robe. <laughs> why? What is the difference? What is the difference between normally listen to sound, and now you come here to learning meditation. So now, should I tell you the difference, or you want to figure out? Huh? I tell you? That's more easy, yeah? Okay. The difference between these two is realization, or recognition. Because normally you are meditating, 
but you don't know you are meditating. That's, that's, the, that's the difference. Now you know you are meditating, and then you recognize awareness. If you don't know this is meditation, you are not recognized awareness. So as I, as I told you before, we all have awareness, yeah? Those who raise your hand, that means I have awareness. Those who say, I don't have awareness, that means you have awareness. You were, you're aware that I don't have awareness. So that, this is what I told you, you both have awareness, yeah? So same question, then what? Why I'm learning meditation? Why I come, I come here to learn meditation? The answer is, <laughs> before you have awareness, but you are not realize your own awareness. But now you recognize your, your own awareness. This is why awareness becomes meditation. So when you listen to sound, normally, if you not recognize awareness, then what is important for you only sound. Awareness is, is not important for you. You even think about awareness. You just listen to sound. But now you're thinking that, okay, this is meditation. I'm going to meditate again with sound. I'm going to practice sound meditation. Immediately, automatically, you recognize awareness. And awareness is important. The sound is not important for you. Because the sound is object of meditation. To develop your awareness. Yeah? Do you think so? So what we call this, 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 this is like B, you know, B? You know, B? Bees, bee, taking honey, you know. Bee go to the flower, taking honey. Doesn't matter, ugly flower, beautiful flower, doesn't matter. Important is, want to take honey, nectar, from the flower. So awareness is like bee, object of your meditation is like flower, and taking nectar is to develop awareness, develop your meditation. <coughs> so I, there's a sense of non-judgmental quality with this sound. Normally, just listen to sound. Now you know you are listening to sound. So difference, yeah? Okay. Now, we're going to practice this meditation together. Please keep your spine straight. And uh, first we're going to practice this with closed eyes. So please close your eyes. And listen to sound. Good. It's gone. Just listen, that's all. This way, you're giving job to the monkey mind.
you can listen any sound you can move to sound to sound Maybe you forgot to listen. Okay, you can come back again. Remember, don't give full-time professional job to the monkey mind. Just part-time job. Sound pizza, sound hamburger, sound fromage. That's totally okay, it's normal. Those people who know the Rigpa, you can recognize Rigpa to listen to sound. Slowly open your eyes and continue listen to sound. <coughs> Any sound now. Sound of fan, air condition, people's coughing, birds singing, or people who are watching from internet, maybe you may have traffic sound near you, your neighbors making noise, your friends making noise, whatever. Listen to any sound. And which sound more dominant for you? 
listen to that. If your mind wander, forgot to listen to sound, don't feel bad about it. That's normal. That's normal. So don't give punishment. But you can ask your mind, listen to sound again. So monkey mind will be very happy. First forgot, and you can say, hello, monkey mind. Listen to sound, and the monkey might say, ah, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Listen to sound a little bit. Pizza. <laughs> Lost. Let it be. Okay. You can call again. Oh, let's listen sound again. And the monkey might say, oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Listen to sound again. So it's become short time, many times. You can repeat again. Again. Again, again, what we call if the water drop falling in a big container, one by one, one, two, three. In the end, even big empty container will full of water, water, something like that. <clears throat> and this is no meditation. So you don't have to meditate, yeah? It's completely normal. I told you, I don't like meditation, yeah? That's why I don't like meditation. This is not meditation. <laughs> what we're doing is not meditation. It's just totally natural, normal. You've been doing that since you were born. <laughs> but you don't know that's the problem. The problem is, you realize or not. But now you realize, because I introduce you. <laughs> so you receive introduction of awareness. So I, this is not meditation, but not get lost. You are, you are presence of awareness, yeah? 
So not get lost, not meditation. <clears throat> uh, if you do that, then your mind automatically become calm, peaceful, and special, pliable, workable, and that's good for wisdom. So wisdom, your mind become more clear, calm, then you can see the misperception in your mind. And you can see how your mind making problem. Because we sometimes making our own person and we put ourselves into our own person, yeah? But actually there's no person. It's just illusion. So who make the person gel? You made it. So you can free yourself. No problem. This is our wisdom and experience. The wisdom, experience. Experience is like method. Method and wisdom together. It helps each other. It's good for those people who practice Rigpa. Emptiness. Also good to recognize. More emptiness. Good to recognize more clear Rigpa. And good to develop love and compassion. And also good for study in your life. <clears throat> good for driving car. If you're driving car very tight, you know, what time? <sighs> this guy blocking my way, bad. <clears throat> How I can, you know, live behind this bad person, you know? And then you may have more accidents, you know, you miss the sign, and then police give you a ticket, you know, and you have to give donation, you know, later. <laughs> Big problem. And same as study. And also good for any problem. If you have panic, whenever you panic begin to arise in your mind, listen to sound. Sound, sound, or uh, upset. Listen to sound. Anger, listen to sound. You don't have to suppress anger. Don't follow anger. Listen to sound. Because anger is job of monkey mind. So I, you giving another job to monkey mind, and monkey mind become too busy for the anger. <laughs> So monkey mind will let go of anger and they listen to you and they listen to sound. So it's good for any other practice. Okay, let's um, finish about, I think, this talk. And this talk, mainly two things, wisdom and experience, yeah? And the wisdom is to see the function of your mind and the essence of your mind, how you're making, how your mind making um, reality, the nature of perception, and also recognizing your your basic goodness. You all have you all have goodness within you. You are good. <coughs> So the meditation is not changing your life, become better. Meditation is you're recognizing how good is, how your life good is, yeah? How to say? How good your life is. <clears throat> if you totally 